All right, if you gather around here, uh, I'm Steve Liggett again. I'm so happy that you're here. Mary McNett has, uh, I first learned about her from a show at TU, actually, that was an animation show, and I was really blown away by her animation. So uh, she came and volunteered here for years. three years. <laughs> and it helped us with many things, one of which is animation, teaching that to students as well as doing our graphic artists. And we finally uh, scraped together a few bucks and we've, she's been on our staff now for two years. And I'm really proud of her and all that she does here for Living Arts. And it's really great to see a body of your work here. Thank you. So give a warm welcome to Mary McNett. I guess what I want to say about my work is the uh, first thing I was interested in is just uh, how this organic matter, this brain with the neurons and just things that you can touch and see, create thoughts, consciousness, creativity. Um, so I actually saw recently uh, the scientists came out with these images where they sliced some brain and they uh, put some uh, some dye in it, fluorescent dye. And when I saw those, it just kind of reminded me of like imagination and what we create images in our mind. So I was just kind of interested in that. And um, I guess I kind of see some of this as just like I'm, at my heart, I'm kind of childlike and playful. And uh, for years, I was trying to find uh, a way to use bright colors, because you can see I love bright colors. And um, just a way that it kind of was, uh, it satisfied me at least, these bright colors. And uh, I love this, how they react under these LEDs, just different colors, like the red and green especially. Uh, you can kind of see everything pulsating, like neurons hitting each other. So um, that's as far as I thought uh, right now. Does anybody have a question or anything for me real quick? Or? What is your process for creating these images? Are you using watercolor or printing? What I do is that I get a piece of paper in front of me. And I do, I just like drop maybe some watercolor on it. And if I screw it up, I'm like, oh, maybe I can put some uh, soft pastel over that and then do some screen printing or something. I mean, just, I don't have a plan. I can't have a plan or else I'm not interested at all. So that's kind of like my process. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes. Did you create any of them uh, under the filter of what? Or did you do it like in a daylight situation? I created, well, I would take them like in different times and put them over one of these spotlights. And uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's the color I need to put more of. But I didn't ever like what I was sitting there have it going on. In fact, like I did it all in my dining room and the light kind of sucks in there. <laughs> it made all the colors look a lot different than what they really were. But that's how I did it, the light. So, yeah. I thought it was very interesting watching you install the show because the, the strings and things, you had an idea that, that kept evolving and, and, and shapes took uh, shape. And it was really great to see that. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of this was, I mean, um, I spoke with some of my peers about this kind of thing about like neurons connecting and blah, blah, blah with the string. And, when I did it, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be like kind of just like on the spot, like what's gonna, you can see that some of it really doesn't hang straight, but you put like a, another string in it, put a nail there, oh, maybe it's gonna hang straight now. So that's how some of it, you, cut, you try to make a design out of it, and it's kind of cool, so. It was really fun to do that part. So, yeah, all of these I had so much fun doing, like I said, like childlike, inspiration and colors and all that kind of cool stuff and I kind of see it as 
kind of like a universal maybe, like imagination what's inside everybody's brain. But this is kind of like what I see and what it's like inside my brain. <laughs> kind of like playful but creepy at the same time. So, any other questions? Yes. It's, a, it's not a question, but I, yeah. I liked your garden statement, and I just wondered how many people sort of identified with it. I know, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of, I was kind of trying to think of that, like, how, what makes us all yeah. individuals? Yeah. How does this, like I said, this organic thing create us as we are? And, and yeah. how normal people would call it crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which nobody's normal. From yeah, from what I think. Yeah. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. Do you think um, when you're making art, is it you making the art or you Aren't they one and the same? Art is your brain. Well, yeah, it's, it's me. Like, um, no, I do not use my brain. Thank you. Yeah, now I realize that. No, not at all. I mean, just like I cannot pay attention to something longer than maybe a week. And uh, so it's like, okay, can I have this done? And I'm very inspired and whatever at first. And if, it, if I feel it's not done at the end of that, I kind of paint over it and start something new. Very ADD, I guess, that way, but yeah. Um, so, if you have ADD, uh, what drives the timeline for the creation? Sort of a manic phase, then? Would you say? Some of them, like that one, was my very first. The brain right there, with the uh, neuron branches, the swirl looking stuff. That was my very first. And it was just that brain at first. And then I came back to it, and I was like, I need to add some stuff. So I screen printed on it, and all that kind of stuff. So it's like I, if I'm interested in it, I'll do it. If I think it's cool, then it needs more, I'll put it away. So I can't look at it. So the entire body of work, was it a period of a year? A yeah. couple of months? A year? A year. Okay. Once I learned that I was accepted. And was your work prior to this abstract in any way? Or what was it? This was the first show. You really don't see a depiction of the human figure. That's what I did at TU when I went there to study paintings. I did human figures. And this is very freeing. Like, I, I stopped doing art for a while because I was like, this is, I wasn't satisfied at all. And I'm trying to think what prompted me to do this. I don't know what it was. I guess I was just trying with watercolors. I was like, wow, I can make something cool with that. You know, just like, and two, with the foam stuff, it was, uh, what was the artist that came here with the hanging? Uh, yeah, like the yeah. yeah, I took just sort of like a workshop with her and it was like, spray some foam on some stuff and it looked really cool and organic. So I was like, well, I'm gonna try that. So, yeah, yeah, okay. You're very cool, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she is. So, um, right now, I would invite you to mill around and look at the art while the performance is going on. My neuron ladies over there, they're really awesome, but I would, yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're over there. So enjoy.